Hello there, YouTubers and all those who gloriously watch. Alright, so, here's a down low. Going to be playing a little bit of Monster Hunter Tri for the Nintendo Wii. Now, again, I'd like to thank everybody in the bottom of my heart that is watching this. Also, trying to see if they can beat this royal pain in the, well, you know, keister. But, alright, so here's a strategy with this guy. On land, he rolls commonly as well as he do a little spit action there, as you see right there on the screen. He does this quite commonly he, on, on, air, on the land. In the sea, or in the water, he's a little bit different. He's a little bit lesser of, of annoyance. I mean, he does charge at you, does a typical water crap, but he really is harmless. He only does like a few attacks that do AoE damage as well as that spinning attack, which can, of course, degrade your stamina. Or your stam. As you see right there, he rolls, and if you get in his way while he's doing that, he will steamroll your ass. Uh, this is the offline mode, or the village mode, uh, monster. Now, this strategy can, be, of course, be applied for the multiplayer version of him. There's no differences here. Uh, for the axe, I'm just using, you know, the tomahawk weapon. So you can get that really much, pretty much early on. That armor I'm wearing is, of course, the skin off his own back, pardon the pun. But, you know, has his little henchmen there, his little minions around him, which are a little bit of a pain in the, uh, keister. Now, if you're in the multiplayer mode, you're probably going to have some of your friends run about and, you know, help get rid of those for you, so it makes the fight a little bit easier. Those do respawn, everyone, like, after a couple moments, so you're not going to be out of the woodwork out of that. But, however, it's going to be a little bit, makes the fight a little bit more easier. I just kind of ignored him in this fight, because I didn't really care. I mean, his boss is really simple. He's, like, you know, practically, his pattern to read is really freaking easy. What I'm going for right now is his tail, as you can see right there. Uh, the tail is my main objective because I'm trying to get the carving out of it. Which is obviously the whole point of this game, you gotta carve things. I want to get bonuses as well for the end of the um, match. So, you know, you, you'll see some of the carves I get when I obviously cut the tail off here soon. My main goal right now is, you know, when, when you get weak, my goal is just to, you know, sharpen it in the water, hop right back out, and just start slash at him again. So he basically ran away as soon as I did that, but... <laughs> You see me right here swimming, you know, I'm just kind of showing the... If you look at my map, you'll see where he is. He's underwater right now. You get to see a little bit of how he works underwater. I did lob off his tail. So I got his little carving there, which I did get his, um... Royal L tail for a carving. Um, I think I did believe I do got rid of some of his mane. Or some of his, uh, sponge. I'm not sure, I can't see too well. I think I'm working on that right now, actually. As you can see by his pattern underwater, he's really a joke. Like, he's honestly a big joke. I mean, he looks very intimidating when you first encounter him, but he's honestly, guys, once you figure him out, he's be the most e one of the easiest you can farm off of if you want to go to that route. Then I go tagging him, which is a big strategy, by the way, when you're fighting guys like him. Uh, make sure you want to, like the little changing effect there, you gotta definitely want to make sure you grab him by the... You keep on him, basically. And if he rolls, or you see him doing some si signification, he's gonna roll. But you'll kind of shake a little bit. Get the hell out of the way, you know, run around him and just start wailing on him. Because sooner or later, he will go down. He's a very easy, straightforward boss. Again, you know, single player mode, he's easy as pie. Multiplayer, obviously, you can have more friends with you to play. So it's, it's still gonna be just about the same difficulty if you have people playing with you but it's going to take a little bit longer if you're doing it by yourself, if you have undergrade armor. You can see right here he's rolling again. You're, I did a safe roll there just as he was doing it, so I was able to get up quick enough. I'm going to finish him off here practically, so... Because he's very weak right now in this stage. You see I'm on his back, so he's screwed. I'm just wailing on him now in his tummy, which is one of his weak points. You can see my little guy wailing on him as well, Cha-Cha. <laughs> Jumping back in the water again. Carving, uh, sorry, sharpening my weapon. As you can see by my pattern, how I'm fighting him, you know, see my health is going down halfway, that's better than being at zero. So. Carry the strategy out if you have a, like, a sword and shield, and you should be alright. If you have a, a great sword, you'll be a little bit slower to fight him, so just make sure you. There you go, he's down and out. 
just make sure obviously of course you go and make sure you get rid of his mane his tail and he he shall be very soft for you to carve on basically and also give you some bonuses at the end of the battle make sure you take care of some of his minions as well if you have to think those guys are going to be a problem for you make sure you get rid of those and plus you can get some little bonus carves as well as you guys can see the carves right here you know what i got so i don't need to explain that to you and, you know cha cha does make a difference when he's fighting with you so make sure you bring him along with you it's kind of interesting too he can also help you if you need stuff but yeah that's basically the uh, royal l he's really simplistic to fight when he rolls just get out of the way make sure when he's in mad mode just keep the hell away from him when he's shooting his bubbles out and after he's out of that mode you know he's on you can get him on his back by hitting one of his hind legs on the, or the front leg get him on his belly and just start smashing into his tummy so other than that you know this this is a uh, monster's good as slade so take it easy folks and thank you guys so much for